This robot is going to load parts from a part conveyor into two machines. The robot is not yet anchored. And here I'm testing the valve block for the robot grippers. Clean the valves, found the connector, the pinout, testing them with a power supply and a little uh, piston. They all seem to be working. So next thing is to connect it to the EE connector on the robot and mounting, mounting on the back of the robot. Next is to uh, set the circuitry that will handle the light curtain and the laser scanner. Those two safety devices will allow the robot to either stop or slow down if the operator steps into the warning or the danger zone. And then I'm anchoring the robot using uh, six inches long anchors, uh, doing the safety uh, gate interconnection, and now I'm designing the base for the robot controller using aluminum 8020 erector set and AutoCAD 2010, uh, the same uh, version I use for my 3D CAD designs for my 3D printer. Um, I measure the, the distance the bolts on the bottom of the controller are at and selected some brackets from the catalog and put it together in AutoCAD so I know exactly how long to cut the aluminum block, uh, aluminum sections of the uh, base. That's me. And um, so I'm cutting them now. Had the brackets, mill the brackets holes to a larger uh, length and now I'm ready for that to be mounted and this is the finished product robot is already anchored and powered up you get a whole bunch of alarms because the robot was off for so long almost two years the batteries on the robot base were flat so you'll need to be you need to be remastered next thing is to load the uh, software that came with it the whole dual check safety and all that uh, ethernet IP adapter option on all that so re reboot into bootloader and follow the instructions given to you on the documentation and then follow the instructions on the screen and select the proper option from the bootloader menus and then um, just follow and wait for every stage of the process. It will reboot several times. It will ask you which type of robot you get. And then I'm laying down the cover for the light curtain and all that. This is a robot type. So I have the F number for the robot. I had to look it up in the robot controller and the robot base, which is this and this. Same number. Do not power off and it's going to update the firmware on the teach pendant. You just got to wait until it does the whole process. When powered up, it will give you the alarms for the encoders. So you need to remaster each access to a zero mastering. That's what I, I did with this. I had to steer it, master enable it, and well, get rid of the uh, BCAL alarms one by one. So the robot can be jogged, programs can be written, and all that. So e stop a fuse on the e stop board was blown, so I have to replace that. Checking the dual check safety settings, testing for uh, reaction of it. Now I mounted a push button for the reset of light curtain circuitry. This is the scanner connected to a laptop showing you the radar light design for the e-stop red and yellow warning warning is going to be where the repair is going to be at um, so i need to remove that I, I, hmi and this is the circuitry for the e-stop doing a background logic program to test uh, the robot slows down when their scanner uh, is invaded into the warning zone so robot is running a just a simple program four points open and closing its grippers and if I step in uh, register it's altered by the background logic because the dual check safety it's an uh, a rack 
on the I.O. devices. So I set a little background logic that will change register one, which is the, the feed rate of the points I created. So this is still not yet dual check safety, but this is to test the scanner uh, response if someone steps into the yellow the zone I defined using the uh, software from Keyens as a warning zone. So if someone steps into the warning zone, it will slow down to a safe speed. Now I'm adding it into the control logics uh, project. It's a final rollback Ethernet IP model. I'm, go I'm gonna mount this, so I have to milk made a base for the uh, HMI arm. I mailed that up, mounted it, and uh, wire it, rewired it, and now I can swing it out of the robot machining area. And this is the actual uh, finished product. So now the robot is on dual check safety, is remotely enabled by uh, the control logics PLC control logics is a scanner robot is an adapter so I'm enabling the immediate stop hold um, safety speed and the enable signals those have to be set to one and then press reset that's what I'm doing here enable press reset and you can see the response on the uh, teach pendant now click start, but let me just switch to the uh, select screen so you can see the actual little program that I wrote as main. Here, I'm just uh, access that with my other hand. So uh, select, and that's main. It's, it's uh, stopped in line number 10, so I'm gonna press start here. Now program is running. You can see the robot is running at full speed, and if you step into the warning zone, it will slow down. So the repairer will want to, uh, like, uh, do some changes on the machine, so he will step into the area close to the robot. So when that happens, the robot will slow down, and if you cross beyond this limit, you will cause the uh, robot to do an immediate stop. So that's the uh, logic, uh, the control logics, and that's the uh, HMI screen.